All right, you guys, welcome back to the Wolf Pack. Also, thanks to Amaze for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to stay tuned for a word from them later on. I have been a little under the weather the last few days, um, but today I'm feeling a lot better. So I figured it would be a perfect time to try to redeem myself during, I think it was a couple videos ago, I did a back to the basics dock fishing video. As you guys saw, I was really after a catfish and that just did not happen for me. I could not get a catfish to bite to save my life. So I ended up catching a coon perch. Then I fell in love with said coon perch, named him Chester and Andy and I did a procedure to get his air bladder to go down so he would live. He ended up swimming off happily and he's somewhere living life now. Um, so that was the moral of that video. So yeah, I'm, I'm down here again to redeem myself. Back to the basics, easy dock fishing with some live shiners. Um, it's definitely colder than it was last time I was down here. I'm gonna get uh, everything set up, show you guys what I'm using, and let's get some lines in the water. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I don't know if you remember in the last video, crazy, but last time I tried this stock fishing down here, I was using too light of line. Um, I believe it was, it was four or six pound mono and I got broken off by something massive that one morning and I think it was a big striper. So I know they're in here. It'd be awesome to catch one. So. I will be prepared this time. I'm gonna be using much heavier line, some 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, which should get the job done. So I'm gonna get these rigged up. I've got about three rods. So this is a lot of my saltwater gear. What I'm about to do is probably not the best idea for this rod. I haven't taken this reel off in forever. It's got salt in it. But I'm going to put this massive, um, this massive Daiwa reel on this smaller back bay rod and there's not a ton of line on this thing as you can see there's not very much line but I'm fishing off the dock so I mean I'm not casting that far so that does look a little ridiculous I must say so myself <laughs> but we're gonna try it anyway I don't remember exactly what pound test is on here, but I'm thinking it's 10. And I've got um, some braid braid on there and probably at least 10 pound, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. There are some absolute giants in here. Let me get my sleeve soaking wet. Like there are some seriously big fish in there. Oh yeah, baby. All right guys, let's get rigged up. I got a simple hook on him, size four J hook. And I really kind of want to try just no weight. I want to go weightless with this guy. So I'm going to grab one of these massive shiners that are in here, hook it on. I'm to get, let's try to get a big one. Oh my gosh, there's an absolute behemoth in here. I can catch him. Got him! Oh, that's pretty easy. Look how big this guy is. Oh yeah. Just like before, gonna hook him right through the upper lip so open his mouth. Kind of straight out. Ugh. Straight through the nose, baby. All right, now let's get this guy in the water. I forgot that there's no rod holder over on this pier. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna sit this one. Maybe we should put it over on the floating dock with the John boat. Let's do it. Perfect. 
I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it because it's all the way over there. And if something hits it, I'm gonna have to sprint super fast over there. It's about 3.30ish. It obviously gets dark at like 5.30 now. Um, so I'm planning on just fishing until dark, but there's that window right around sunset that I'm hoping is gonna be amazing. All right, guys, next up, Got this little Kunin, I think you call this rod. Again, another one of my tried and true inshore sound side saltwater fishing rods. But the beauty of that is <laughs> they can all double as freshwater bass rods, whatever you want, freshwater. Probably wouldn't use these for trout, but you never know. It depends where you're going trout fishing. But these work great for freshwater bass, stripers, catfish, crappie, crappy, a coon perch, little chain pickerel, a little bit of a walleye situation, you know, you name it. I swear my knots are still good. After not fishing for a while, my knots are great still, but it takes me longer. That's okay though, I'm getting back in the swing of it. So on this rod, I'm gonna try a split shot weight about, I don't know, 12 inches up or so. I know that's really bad to bite a lead weight, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. And I haven't died yet. I'm gonna also, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that either bite off the tag end. I know I shouldn't use my teeth. I know that's, that's not, don't do that. That's bad. It's really bad. So let's get a shiner on this guy and swing it on out there. All right. Shiner number two going on the hook. I showed you guys a little clip of what's going on in here. These things are massive. They're super lively. Um, and they've been in here for a couple of days. I've had this bubbler running, but like I said, I wasn't feeling well, so I couldn't really get out here to do this video until today. But they're still kicking really good. I'm really impressed. Let's try to get another good one. Okay, got one, got one. I have to drop it. All right, you guys. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, there there goes the lid. The wind is picking up, it's pure chaos. Get in there, all right. Nose hook this one. See, this is the thing, this is the part about fishing. You get all excited because you're going fishing and then you're getting all your stuff rigged up, all the tackle and everything and you got all these high hopes and, and dreams. <laughs> I just hope I can catch something decent. Hopefully we can cook up later. All of this chaos part right here and then everything's gonna slow down because it's all about patience and waiting. That's fishing, baby. Well, this type of fishing anyway. All right, you guys, I'm gonna send this one straight out in the middle. Let that baby sink straight on top of a catfish's head. All right guys, so while those lines are marinating, I wanted to tell you guys about today's video sponsor, which is Omaze. I'm so excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win an Airstream Caravel 20 FB and a Ford F-150, all while supporting a great cause. The Bob Woodruff Family Foundation does so much for veterans and their families, and you could be a part of that. Omaze's impact in 2021, over $27 million was given to charity and 6,462 winners. Dare to dream of yourself in your very own Airstream or Ford F-150 and start adventuring. Just head to amaze.com slash lilred and get entered now. The experience closes December 30th at 1159 p.m. PST. And I promise you do not wanna miss out on this. 
just like me, Airstreams and Fords are all about adventure. So again, for your chance to win an Airstream Caravel 20FB and a Ford F-150 and support a great cause, the Bob Woodruff Family Foundation. Head over to omaze.com slash lilred and enter now. The experience closes December 30th at 1159 p.m. PST. Don't miss out. Thank you again, Omaze, for sponsoring this video. Now, back to fishing. All right, you guys, we got two lines out so far. I wanted to show you guys my boat. The last time you guys saw it, it was not covered and I finally invested in the cover for my boat. Honestly though, I think that cover is going to have to come off soon because this dock fishing stuff is just, it's fun. It's, it's fun, but I need to, to get the girl out on the water. So that's definitely happening soon, whether it be here or another waterway that's happening soon. This baby's not sitting there all winter. So stay tuned for that. The wind is picking up a little bit which hopefully is not a terrible thing. Okay, got one. Oh, my arm is freezing now. Oh, that water's cold. All right, so this guy is on the rod with the bigger heavy duty reel and braided line. So I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna throw him. Let's get him in the water. So you guys see that little floating house over there? I'm gonna try to get this as far over there as I can maybe to even drift up under it because I have a feeling a big catfish could be hiding out under there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh Lord have mercy. All right, well, that didn't really work out as I had planned. I think it went like a third of the way over there, <laughs> but maybe, 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 maybe. This could be the lucky spot. My sleeve, my arm is completely wet. I'm dipping into those shiners it's getting chilly out here you guys got about two hours before the sun goes down as always fingers crossed no bites yet got all three lines out the arsenal i am going to film really soon a video using my handmade lures if you guys didn't know i hand make my own fishing lures this is my galaxy series paddle tail it's got holographic glitter little purple flake and green flake with the chartreuse tail. And this thing is so realistic in the water. It works amazing. I have so many videos catching fish um, in salt water. This also works really good freshwater for bass, stripers, walleye, pretty much anything eats this thing because it looks just like a fish. You can get these on lilredlures.com right now. And I will be using these in a future video very soon, hopefully for some stripers. This is my favorite, favorite bait. Like hands down if I could only fish with one bait for the rest of my life it'd be this one this was one that I just came out with this is a drop shot worm this is my take on the color watermelon red flake one of my go-to's as well and this color is tried and true but with my little special touch on it drop shot you can see the color tried and true right here Galaxy series paddle tail. Bleep, bleep. Someone's watching me through the window and they cannot come out here. The dogs can't come out here because they will go swimming and my fishing will be completely out the window. So, sorry, bud. It's definitely getting really chilly out here. I've got about an hour before the sun goes down and I'm kind of just sitting here thinking about my rigs and I really wish I had some heavier weights, first of all, so I could get it out there further. Got one hour left. All right, guys, I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Uh, something literally took my bait on the big rod or the big rod, the heavy duty line rod. So I'm glad I checked it, but I ended up rummaging through some tackle and I found an egg weight. My hands are like frozen. They're not really working. So this should be fun to try to retie this, but I found an egg weight and a little swivel. I'm gonna put some heavier weight on this line. 
the Carolina rig and see if I can get it out there further, closer to that floating house. It's probably somewhere in the 30s. Put our weight straight onto the braid. Oh my gosh, my fingers are not moving. I need gloves, you guys. Uh, I think it's time for a trip to Florida. Got my egg weight on there. Definitely doesn't help if you're getting your hands wet every time I grab a shiner out of there. Ah, my hands are not moving correctly. We got the swivel on there and then I'm gonna clip that tag end off, but on the other end, do the same thing with your leader. Got it on there. I just hooked myself. Things are going swell. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we got a twist in here. All right. I'm going to go get a shiner and then we're gonna see how far we can get this thing over to that floating house. Oh, my hand. Oh, it is not, not fun feeling there, folks. But I'm definitely gonna go get some gloves after I get this guy out there. I'm give him a nice, nice hook. All right, now we should be able to get him out there a lot further. Fingers crossed. Here's the rig. Oh yeah. Andy just saved the day, brought me some gloves. Oh man, this temperature has dropped so quick once that sun, once that sun went behind the mountain, it is like freezing cold. So hopefully something happens soon. Otherwise, I'm gonna try to get out here in the morning and do an early morning session when the fishing should be pretty good. I don't know. Ugh, I just wanna catch one decent fish to eat. That's all, that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna check this middle rod. I haven't checked it since I threw it out, so. Yeah. Saw a little spotted bass following it on the way up. This uh, shiner is still kicking and good, so nothing's touched it. Are you filming me? Best boyfriend ever. Wine delivery. It's not gonna make it on the vid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. The sun, the sun is going down. Definitely really chilly. And I was really, really hoping on catching a fish so that I didn't have to get up early in the morning because it's gonna be even colder than it is right now. I'm not saying that I'm completely over this dock fishing situation, but um, I kind of feel like I might need to uncover my boat. I love bank fishing, I love dock fishing. Obviously I did that for my whole life before I got a boat. Um, so I was trying to take it back to the basics and that sort of thing. I'm not giving up, 100% not giving up. <sighs> All right, you guys, it's getting dark out here and I physically don't think that I can stay out here anymore. It's just too cold. Um, probably gonna have to wear some more layers in the morning. 